action. So, uh, hey, check that out. Let's make it a center steer car. There you go. No, technically there's no rule against that. No. Wouldn't it be a dick move? There will take? be now that you said it. <laughs> you know, that's exactly... Exa <laughs> Good I, job. They said they said that seat over there, and we made it. There was a joke made about that, and Eric goes, "Oh yeah, right up till you go to do it." Mm -hmm. He said that's going to be illegal. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, turbos are mounted. Took three stabs at it because the way I wanted to do them, I wanted to turn the turbos up like at, at an angle, and then uh, discovered that the oiling system. They won't oil like that. They won't return oil properly. So, the way it goes now, see, I don't like, that's the thing I don't like about turbos. They make the mirror image ones, but they're, I can't, I can't buy new shit for this car. It's gotta be used stuff. But, the cool thing is, it does make the exhaust We are gonna be able to come out of that exhaust basically with a 90 and it's something right up through there. Can I give you an idea? Only up more. So bullhorns? No, 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 no. Here, let me do this. Oh, so we okay. come off of this, come down, go underneath the car. Oh, and, still and with the side pipe look. Yes, I'm gonna call stainless works. We're gonna do like we did the Chevelle. Have them send me the muffler inserts. Mm -hmm. So we can put the muffler inside the pipe where there's no, it's just one one pipe, one smooth seam. So the turbos are mounted. <clears throat> we lowered the motor in this car a bunch. Because when we get when we were checking all the stuff with the uh oh and I gotta defend my guys a little bit here. <clears throat> Those guys are just real camera shy, but they're two super, super sharp guys. <clears throat> um, I've known Eric for a long time. Eric's had his own shop, and he's a hell of a fabricator. But both those guys were kind of nervous when Stacy fired that. If, if she would, I, I told her not to let him see her. But if if she'd have done it when we were discussing all this, I was doing all the talking because I'm used to doing this shit. They're not. That's some nasty stuff right there. What was that? Trim, some kind of trim stuff. So the turbos are mounted. I don't think anybody's ever got to see the the mechanical slash EFI. Travis is actually blowing me a, a, a new regulator to get it just right. So basically the way this car is going to work, drive it on pump gas through the EFI, which is the, that's the stealth with the eight injectors in it. And you drive it on pump gas when you go to race it, once the regulator sees six pounds of boost, three pounds of boost, four pounds of boost, whatever we set it at, then it'll actually turn the methanol injection on. So, kind of gives us the best of both worlds, and I can drive it, you can't drive it on methanol. So basically what this is, mechanical system is a huge methanol injection kit. So, we have 1,250 horsepower worth of fuel in the EFI, on pump gas, on, on gasoline, C16 or whatever. And we also have another 1,000 to 1,500 in the methanol, probably closer to 1,500. So the fuel capability would be about 3,000. Now, the tuning part of it is gonna be a little tricky because you have one air fuel ratio for methanol and you have another air fuel ratio for gasoline. But I just have to find that magic number, which we plan on, do you see the updated calendar? We're gonna try to have this on the dyno by the, uh, uh, what is that, the 14th? Mm -hmm. 14th of May. Yeah, so a little less than three weeks, we're gonna try to get this thing dyno. I'd really like to get it dyno, go get it tested, and go to Mike's race, which, where, where's his track at? Albany, Georgia, a US 19 dragway. I'm gonna be there the 20... The 22nd. 22nd. We are headed out. He's having a small tire race there that weekend. Thirty grand to win. And is it thirty grand? I thought it was twenty grand. It's thirty grand. It's it's actually it's the total purse is thirty. Uh, the winner gets twenty, and then they split the other ten back. Hmm. 
So you got a chance, everybody's got a little bit of a chance to win something. That's why I'm trying to get this car done, right? Mm -hmm. We'll be there. Yep. Racing and selling t-shirts and signing I'll be autographs. There no matter what. Or no matter but, what, whether we have a car ready or not. Well, and I'll have this car there and plan on taking the Monty Smith car. Uh, we're going to get it moved over, as you guys can see, last night or yesterday. We dicked with the Nova all day, found some... Too much stuff in the way. <laughs> oh, we found some weird shit on it. Somehow, when we, when we pulled that battery cable off, one of those little wires, one of the ground wires, flipped up just enough, and you can't hardly see up underneath that dash, and pinched one of the ground wires. We set shit into it, all kinds of crap. It's your so, shop gremlins. Uh, do what? Your shop gremlins. Well, I don't understand. I mean, somehow that wire got pinched, and I can see how, because the ground plugs here and the positive plugs here. So we took the cable off that wasn't soldered. Soldered it, stuck it back up there. I guess it caught one of the wires and pinched it. So then we had battery issues. We changed the starter on it and then it didn't want to fire. Um, I don't know. I, I'm pissed off that car and it ain't making me any happier. But we switched it back over to 12 volt. Uh, I'm gonna run 16 on this car cause it ain't gonna have, a, it's not gonna have much to it, but I don't know, I'm going back to 12 volts. 16 volt jacks with stereos and burn shit up. And I know you guys are gonna say, no, it don't if you do this and you do that, but I'm just over the 16 volt systems. The 12 volt systems are good enough now. If it wasn't for the fact that I need this mechanical pump because it's gonna be electric, I need that thing to run at 13.5 to 14.5, between 13.5 and 14.5 to get the flow of one out of it, this car would have 12 volt too. So the turbos are done. Uh, Monday, we're going to start on the headers, which is going to be, he's got a really cool idea how to do these. Since everybody knows I like zoomies. Eric came up with a super cool idea. Well, where's my hole at? There it is. Talking about doing it kind of like a zoomie mm -hmm. and bringing them over back right over to here. That'd be kind of cool, huh? It would. That way it looks like a zoomie. That one time I, th I thought about running that out and then putting four of these into a collector and having four of these coming out the side. Oh yeah. That's too much work. I gotta slow my roll on that shit. Otherwise we're never gonna get this card up if I keep changing it. Mm -hmm. You'd rather be fast than cool, is that what you're saying? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> and infamous words, Harley Davidson, on the movie Harley <laughs> Davidson, Marlboro Man, it's better to be dead and cool than alive and uncool. But we ended up lowering the motor in this car almost four inches. Well, you guys remember when I first did, if you go back and look at the other videos, the, car, the, the EFI was up to about here and to get everything set where we needed it to set, the crank height, the ladder bars, the pinion angle and everything, which I've ordered another set of ladder bars because we're gonna, we're gonna extend the, the wheelbase just a little bit and change the bars up. But those are on their way. Clayton Murphy at Chassis Engineering sent me a set of his outlaw bars. And that's pretty much the update on this. And in fact, uh, we need to go get the Monty Smith car. Mm -hmm. We need to do that today. So the Monty Smith car is fixed to be sitting right over there where the Blue Nova is. And Rob is gonna, since Rob's uh, specialty that he likes doing so much is wiring and plumbing. So I'm gonna put him on the Monty Smith car and we'll stay hooked up over on this one. So um, anybody ever get to see my gauges after I got them mounted? So I put two more in. I still got one that goes here that that we just got and one that goes here. That's kind of cool, huh? They are cute. If anybody knows anybody that has a set of Lenko levers for a three-speed CS2, I'm trying to find some because really I want to do away with the AirPods. I'm going to shift this thing to Lenko. I want to pull levers. Um, we're fixing to be putting a, we got a whole bunch of stuff coming in Monday, Tuesday, I think every day next week we got parts coming in. Where am I at on my budget? What was your budget? $2,500. It's blown. <laughs>
On this car it's blown? How is that? On this car? Mm -hmm. How did I blow it? The other day you told me I was at like 19. Right, but you just said you ordered more parts. So more parts equals more money. No, that, they're, that's, that's already factored in. Oh, okay. They've already been, no, no. Okay, we well, still have $500 then. Well, no, 25. You do the books at the company and I... I round, I rounded it up from that 19 to the God, no. 2000. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I gave you a hundred dollar cushion. Come on. Okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Lord Grant, you say you accept the things I cannot change, change things I can, and not choke out station for the day's over. And what? What else do you say? Well, I, some of it I didn't want to say. Well, we were videoing. It's okay. You're still pretty. No, that was, that didn't apply right now. <laughs> that didn't apply today. And uh, anyway, so oh, Mike O.C. just walked through the door. So that's who I'm going to talk to more about the channel. We're getting all that stuff set up. It's going to be kind of cool. It's actually what it what it is, guys. It's going to be an app. So I will talk to everybody after a while. We're out.